Spiders are the root of all evil. No, that's not exactly true, but I do hate spiders with a passion. They're one of the freakiest things to ever be made or created, and they're virtually all over the world. And if you mess with the wrong one, you're in trouble. And it's not even the biggest of spiders that you would need to be afraid of either, because the smaller ones can be just as bad, if not deadly. So from the red-headed mouse spider to the brown recluse and more, here are 20 most dangerous spiders in the world. Number 20. Red-headed mouse spider. Now, for the first spider, we head down to Australia, where literally everything could kill you, and we sadly have a lot of spiders there that you honestly need to be on the lookout for should you give it a visit. As this is a very deadly species, albeit one that has some very unique in-species traits between its genders, and what do I mean by that? Well, when the red-headed mouse spider was discovered, and its two genders and their looks were identified, they looked absolutely nothing alike. Now seriously, it's not unheard of for the genders to have different sizes and looks to an extent, but to be likened to different species as a whole? Well, that's a new one. Eventually it got figured out, but it was still a very odd thing. But getting back to why they're so dangerous, the females have within them a very toxic venom. It's so dangerous, in fact, that it apparently has the potency of some of the deadliest spiders in all of Australia, if not the entire world. So thus, you would not want to get bitten by one. But there is a twist. There have honestly only been a few recorded cases of the spider actually biting people, and when that's happened, an anti-venom for a different spider was able to counteract the venom of that one, thus making it much less dangerous in the overall as long as your timing is good. Red-headed mouse spiders mainly prey on insects and other spiders, but also occasionally on small vertebrates such as frogs and lizards. Oh, and if you're curious as to why they're called mouse mouse spiders, that's apparently because either they eat mice at times, or the females tend to look like them. I don't even pretend to understand, so I think I'll just move on. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Brown Recluse The brown recluse honestly has many different names, so that's kind of a positive, you know, in order to distract you from what it can do to you. First, there is the violin-like mark on their heads, which has led them to being known as violin spiders, as well as fiddlers, so you might think they're fun spiders that you don't have to fear, right? Well, would they be in this video if you didn't have to fear them? The brown recluse spider is a type of arachnid that doesn't really move all that fast, but prefers to house itself within certain dim areas. On the whole, it doesn't sound bad, that is until you realize that this means that stuff like your shoes and your bed, your clothing, and more. They'll also go into boxes, and since people don't know that they're in the boxes, they'll try and move them around a bit and get bitten. This goes double for spiders in the clothing situation. A person who tries to put on the item that the spider is in will naturally feel provoked and they'll lash out and bite the person. As for where the spider's found, that would be the United States. And the most popular areas would be the Midwest and California. Which brings us to the really bad part. <laughs> the brown recluse has an extremely potent venom one that not only causes a big wound at times, but also infection, decaying tissue, and more. If a young child gets bitten by this spider, it can definitely be fatal. Oh, and what's worse than all of that, you ask? Well, how about a spider that's very small, and so you may not realize that you've been bitten by them until it's almost too late. So while not all of you have this spider in your range, if you are in its area, do be careful and check the various spots that they might be in, you know, just in case. Number 18. Brazilian Wandering Spider so the last entry was about a spider that isn't openly seeking conflict, but what about one that definitely is if you come into its area? 
that would be the infamous Brazilian wandering spider. The reason for this being a different spider is simple, they're aggressive very aggressive in fact, so much so that humans have to be constantly weary of them as these spiders will not be afraid to bite you and put you down, which it can do if it puts enough venom into you. Well, then we're good, you say, because all I have to do is not be in the area they're in, and if I'm in that area, I'll look for them. Well, you're only half right there. Most of you won't ever see this spider outside of a zoo, and that's because they live mainly in Central and South America. But if you are in those areas, spotting the spider still isn't easy because it's a nocturnal one. That's right, it likes to go out at night, and that means that it could be near you and you wouldn't notice until it bites you, that is. As for its venom, it can cause extreme pain, salivation, irregular heart rate, paralysis, and more, and if left untreated, it can definitely lead to death. The effects are often immediate and grow in intensity over time, which includes affecting your blood pressure within 30 minutes if the amount of venom is high enough. Oh, and if you're still not scared of this spider, there was a point in time when it was labeled the most venomous in the world. That's food for thought, ladies and gentlemen. Number 17. Yellow Sack Spider Now we'll have a look at another spider that's known for making a creative home, not one that makes a home in your stuff, or at least not exactly. The Yellow Sack Spider is one that lives in places like Mexico and the United States, and its home is a kind of silk tube. While that may not sound like the most comforting of homes, it clearly works for the spider. But the trick here is that the spider will leave its house tube in spots all over the place, whether it be by outcroppings of rocks or leaves or even, yes, inside of your home. So that means that it could be in your home and you won't even realize it until it bites you and then you'll be filled with regret for the rest of your life, however long it may be. The poison within this spider can be necrotic as it causes the cells to die as well as making them forget their function. Due to this, the bites are known to cause lesions on the victim, definitely not something that you'd want on your body. And again, many of these bites can occur upon accident because you didn't know that their tubes were there and then the spider lashes out and bites you, especially if those tubes have their eggs in them and so they'd just be defending their home. What's that? You're hoping that like the first entry, there aren't a lot of recorded cases of this spider attacking people? Well, sorry, because that's not the case at all. In fact, it's the exact opposite. The yellow sack spider is known for having the most bites on people in the United States compared to every other spider species. Number 16, Wolf Spider. Usually anything that's tied to the word wolf is pretty cool, but in this case it's not so much. Especially when you realize that the wolf spider is one of the most dangerous spiders around, even if it doesn't kill you with its venom, which we're sure will be a small comfort given the other things that it can do with its bite. True to its wolven name, the wolf spiders are hunters, and good ones at that. They're known to be rather unyielding when it comes to getting their prey, and will use incredible speed to catch what they want. The other thing to note is that they have a wide range of areas that they can live in, and will even sadly go into your home if they feel that they can get food like bugs inside. It also doesn't help that wolf spiders are known to be rather large and are one of the larger spider families in existence. Symptoms of their bites include swelling, mild pain, and itching, and their bites are comparable to a bee sting, believe it or not, in the terms of the pain that they cause. And they will inject you with venom if they're continually provoked, which hopefully you're all smart enough not to do especially since the mark that it'll leave behind after biting you will be enough to remember it by. Can it kill you with its bite? Well, no. There have been no fatal bites by the wolf spider on humans. However, there have been cases of it causing serious damage, but those were misidentified spider bites. Still though, you wouldn't want to get bitten by it. I can say that for certain. Number 15. Black Widow Spider. 
There are some of you out there who would have likely guessed that the Black Widow would be on the list, either at the beginning or the end, mainly because it's one of the most famous spiders of all time and is a symbol of death in many ways, including the term Black Widow being tied to a married woman who kills her husband for some reason, and of course, the legendary Marvel hero. But in terms of the spider itself, is it one of the most dangerous around? Well, yes, but not exactly for the reasons you may be thinking. Do they have venom? Yes. Is it potent? Yes. Will it hurt to have this venom inside of you? Oh, yes. But the twist is that if you're careful and get the antivenom should things take a bad turn, you won't have to worry about it killing you. In fact, it's been well documented that a black widow bite won't kill you unless certain conditions are met within your body. Cramping, irregular heartbeat, sweating, extreme muscular pain, tremors, and delirium are all things that you could expect if you do get bit, but the antivenom isn't needed unless it's a more serious condition that hits you. So why is it so dangerous and feared then? Well, it's simple, because it can rock your world. Some have even likened it to having your life on hold. Plus, the effects of the bite can last for days, if not weeks. With all that being said, there are times when a dry bite can happen, and you get no venom at all. So, yes, it is a dangerous spider, but it's not to be as feared as folklore has made it out to be. Number 14. Brown Widow Spider Why not keep it all in the family for now? What have we really got to lose? Given the prominence of its cousin, you'd be forgiven for not knowing about the brown widow spider and everything that it can do. Is it as dangerous as its fellow widow? Well, not really. Surprisingly, we do know, but here's the deal. Yes, the brown widow spider does have a venom inside of it. In fact, its whole family has venom, but as in all things, it's the kind of venom that you need to worry about, as well as the amounts that are pumped into you. The effects of the toxin are usually confined to the bite area and the surrounding tissue. And unlike the black widows, which can spread throughout your entire body, brown widow bites are minor compared to the black widow bites because they can't deliver the same amount of venom as the black widow itself. But don't get me wrong here. It'll still suck really bad to get bitten by this spider, not the least of which is because of how painful it'll be and how it can cause other symptoms. But unlike its cousin, you honestly won't be in any kind of major danger unless the most extreme circumstances happen, like you having an allergic reaction to the bite or maybe it goes up your trousers. This is actually a worthy lesson for all of you because you might assume that all spiders with venom are highly dangerous, but that's not always the case. Case, so thus, you shouldn't freak out at the first spider bite that you get, because you'll likely be fine. Number 13. Red Widow Spider Now, surprise, there's another widow spider out there in the world. Isn't that such a great thing? Why aren't all of you happy right now? Seriously though, there is indeed another widow spider, but not unlike its cousin that I've just talked about. The danger of this particular spider is negligible at points. The reason for that is manyfold, but the basics is that as of this video, there have been no recorded bites of the red widow spider on humans. It's shocking, I know. As such, there's no reason to expect that you would be put in danger by getting bitten by this spider, as no one has died from it yet. But could that all change with one simple bite? Sure. But it's also true that it could never happen at all. There were tests done on mice that showed that the lethal dose of its venom could be put into something, but whether that happens with an actual human is unknown. As stated with the brown widow, it's not just about the venom, but about how much gets put into you by the bite itself. What might be the most surprising of all is that it's had no contact with humans, and yet it's in Florida. Granted, it's in the sand dunes area of Florida, but if we can be honest, if anyone could can find a way to be bitten by a spider that's never bitten a human before, it would probably be Floridians. Number 12. Funnel Web Spiders 
The family of arachnids known as the funnel web spiders are absolutely ones that you need to fear in terms of their dangerous bites, and the reason for this is that they can and will kill you if enough venom gets inside. What's more, once it gets into you, it will not take very long for the effects to be felt. Some of them, like the northern funnel spider, can have the effects happen in less than 20 minutes and you'll want to get the anti-venom when that happens. Common symptoms include hypertension, sinus issues, muscle spasms, other things like nausea and vomiting, altered consciousness, and local pain at the bite site, along with pulmonary edema, which occurs frequently and comes on early. Oh, what joy! The worst part, as if all that's not worse enough, is that there are various versions of the funnel web spiders, and each one has its own level of deadly venom within, such as the Sydney funnel web spider, which is said to be very venomous. In fact, the male version of that spider is five times as venomous as the female. But the good news for all of you is that for most of the species, an antivenom has been found, and as a result, it's rare that death actually occurs because of the antivenom that's on hand, especially in Australia, where they're used to having antivenom on hand for literally every single thing they do. But still, you wouldn't want to tempt fate with this family of spiders. They all have a nasty reputation down under and you wouldn't want to add to that now, would you? Number 11. Six-Eyed Sand Spider Now this one's a bit tricky to talk about because it's one that we know can be dangerous, but whether it's actually dangerous to humans is a bit up for debate. But why? Well, allow me to explain. The six-eyed sand spider is one that resides in the deserts of Africa, and as such, humans really don't run into it all that much, if ever at all. Even if they did, the spider's never been officially documented as having bitten a human. And that being said, there are a couple of caveats, the first of which is that while this spider has not bitten any humans officially, it absolutely has bitten animals. In one confirmed case, it bit a rabbit that rabbit died because of the venom that was pumped into it. Secondly, there are a set of unconfirmed cases of the six-eyed sand spider biting people, and the results of those bites were very, very bad. One person actually lost their arm because of the damage done by the venom, the other had to have their blood hemorrhaged, and then they died. And so that brings us to a bit of a crossroads, because I can't say that this venom will be deadly to humans, as I can't confirm that they've been killed by this spider, but you should know that it could be very dangerous to humans, and that should be enough to warn you away from trying to get close to it. Because in terms of history, would you really want to be the first person recorded as having died by this spider? I didn't think so. Number 10. Goliath Bird Eater the Goliath bird eater is the world's largest spider by mass, weighing in at about 6.2 ounces, and furthermore, the spider is able to get to be 12 inches in length at times, which is part of the reason that its name is Bird Eater. Yeah, that's not really the cutest of nicknames, you know, not like Twinkle, my beautiful pet guinea pig. And part of the reason why the spider is named the Bird Eater is because it will actually eat birds for a meal. Oh, and yes, the spider has been witnessed eating birds. I know that it happens, and that's all the reason that I need to never see this thing in real life. It's too big, and it goes after things that it shouldn't, so I'll just pass on that encounter. And for now, I have to ask the obvious question. Is it dangerous to humans? Well, yes, it does have a bite that is venomous. It's not enough to kill, thank goodness, but it can be likened to a wasp's sting, and those suck almost as badly as spiders suck as a whole. No, I'm not backing down from the fact that spiders suck because they absolutely do, and this is proof of that. 
What's worse though, the Goliath bird eater can stick you with the barbs that it has on its legs. They're very detachable, and if they're able to get into your body or even your eyeballs, you'll feel irritation for days before they're able to get out. After all of this, you're hopefully in a place where you never want to interact with this spider. However, in South Africa, they actually catch it and then they eat it. And we wonder why we're doomed as a species. Number 9. Camel Spider The last spider absolutely sucked because of how big it was, but what if I showed you a spider that sucked because of its speed? Sure, there are spiders that appear fast when they're rushing at you from across your bed or as they trickle down their web, but in terms of true raw speed, you're not going to find one as dangerous as the camel spider. They're so fast, in fact, that people have made up stories about how quick they are. However, we do have a raw number in that they can go about 10 miles per hour. Now, sure, that may not seem like a whole lot when compared to a car, but considering that's faster than the average walking speed, it means that they can catch up to you and bite you before you even realize it. And yes, they will bite you and are noted to have fangs that will absolutely leave a mark when they're done. After all, their body is six inches long, so they have fangs to match that kind of size. The only good thing for you is that they're a non-venomous spider, but if they were venomous, well, they'd be feared even more. Number 8. Fringed Ornamental Tarantula Now, that's a very elaborate name for a spider, but for some reason, people think that this one is rather beautiful, mainly because of the colors that adorn its body. But as others are more than willing to cop to, it's as beautiful as it is dangerous. Although there's never been a recorded death from any tarantula bite, this species is considered to have a medically significant bite, with venom that may cause intense pain and extreme muscle cramping, judging from the experience of keepers that have been bitten by it. And again, just because it hasn't been recorded as being lethal doesn't mean that there isn't a chance that it could happen. And that being said, this particular tarantula is known to flee before biting, so if you don't provoke it, you should be fine. Well, probably that is. Number 7. Mouse Spider I've already talked about a very deadly type of mouse spider, but how about the mouse spider in general? Is it as bad as the red-headed one that I talked about earlier? Well, apparently so. First off, they can be rather large, and some of them can be truly frightening in terms of how big they can get. Mouse spiders mainly reside in, you guessed it, Australia. Although one species can be found in Chile, and another near relative is found in South America. But getting to the heart of the matter, the venom of several mouse spider species can be harmful to humans, and the mouse spiders themselves are known to be aggressive when provoked. However, they're also known for giving out dry bites, so they're dangerous, but not lethally dangerous all the time. Number 6. Hobo Spider What's not easy at times is determining the dangerousness of the hobo spider, because if you talk to people in Europe, you'll find that it's completely harmless, but then in the United States, where it was eventually imported, it was apparently dubbed one of the most dangerous spiders around. So between the two, which one is correct? Well, it's tricky because they are a venomous spider species, that much is confirmed, but they've also been dubbed as non-dangerous in Europe despite all of that. And in the US, there's no clear reason as to why we should feel that these things are such dangerous creatures, so perhaps someone got a bit too scared of the spider and overreacted. Still though, I wouldn't want to get bitten by it, or any other thing for that matter. Number 5. Indian Ornamental Tarantula now seriously, what is with the names of these spiders? Are we trying to make them sound as pretty as possible? Because they're spiders. Just say that and move on. Anyways, the Indian Ornamental Tarantula is the next one on the list, and like most tarantulas, you wouldn't want this thing crawling on you unless you're into that sort of thing. 
I'm not here to shame anyone, after all. Indian ornamentals are a very fast-growing spider. Males will reach maturity in about a year, while females take two to three years. But the males actually die quicker, and you can let me know if that's a good trade-off in the comments below. As for their bites, they do have venom, but their potency has been debatable. And as noted before, no tarantula has ever been confirmed to have killed a human with its bite. Number 4. Chinese Bird Spider In China, there are several Old World spiders that have been branded and rebranded over the years, and one of them is the Chinese Bird Spider. It does deserve this spot on our list for one very basic reason, the fear of its venom. Its venom is the subject of toxicology research, and while the effects of this spider's bite on humans are not very well documented, it is frequently lethal in small doses to lab animals such as mice and rats. As a result, the spider's generally regarded as a highly venomous species. It's not exactly something you want to hear, and given that there's a lot of people in China, that means that there's a lot of potential victims. Number 3. Tarantulas As I've established, tarantulas are spiders that are potentially dangerous but don't have the hard facts to back up the belief that they are dangerous. In fact, there are people who actually eat them. As if that's not enough, there are plenty of those who will happily have the spider as a pet. And that's why they're dangerous, ladies and gentlemen, because these freaky creatures, some of whom can get very, very big, have lulled us all into a false sense of security. We think that, just because they're tarantulas, that they're okay to eat or to keep as pets, but that's a lie. They're dangerous and they're evil. They're a spider after all. It's plain and simple. This message has been brought to you by the We Hate Spiders Foundation. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Number 2. European Garden Spider The European Garden Spider is one that's honestly to be praised in certain ways for its work ethic, mainly in how it will constantly rebuild its web in order to ensure that it gets its food. And when it comes to prey, they can be pretty quick in regards to killing them and wrapping them up to be eaten later. They're known to bite humans, but usually it's only when provoked, and they aren't known to be particularly dangerous with their bites outside of sometimes you not realizing that they did the bite until later. Still though, you wouldn't want to be bitten by them at all in the end. Number 1. Noble False Widow Finally, we end on a spider that is absolutely dangerous, the Noble False Widow. Now we can confirm that this is a dangerous spider because it's considered one of the worst spider bites you can get in Europe. The female bites are apparently the worst and you won't feel them. Symptoms of bites include intense pain radiating from the bite site, along with feverishness and general malaise. You can also get prolonged moderate to intense pain, swelling, and more. There was even a bit of hysteria around the noble false widow and its bites and what they could do. And while all of that may have been calmed down, it doesn't stop the fact that this is a dangerous spider. That's all from the realm of dangerous spiders, and thank goodness for that. What did you think of this look at all of them that are out there in the world right now? Do you have any of them near you? And which do you personally feel is the most dangerous? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out all the cool stuff popping up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.